Hey guys, welcome back to another video and thank you for tuning in. As you can see, last video, uh, I guess this is part two of last video, but uh, last video, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. We did the intake swap on the uh, C230 here. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update because last video just kind of ended like that. So pretty much, um, I got the car running, everything was running pretty good until, um, you know, I took it out for a short drive and I realized it had one code pending and it was the exact same code that I was getting before doing the intake swap. And I was thinking what I found out in the old intake pretty much was what the problem was, but obviously it wasn't that. So, um, currently right now, I noticed on the uh, uh, air filter intake, the housing intake, to put on top of the uh, massive full sensor, uh, pretty much there's a gasket or a rubber boot that goes on the top. Uh, I noticed that has ripped, it's, it's basically been cut. So I'm assuming that's not sealed all the way so it could be letting air in after swapping the intake manifold. So yeah, I'm gonna go to pull it apart this morning. I'm gonna grab that same gasket, a used one, uh, slap it on there and uh, see if that actually, you know, through that little pendant code. Uh, right now, I don't have a check engine light. Nope. And the car has been sitting for at least a good five minutes now. I'll take you guys with so you guys can, uh, I guess, see other cars that are pull apart if you guys are interested in that kind of content. But yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick and uh, stick that on so I know for sure the rubber boot is perfectly sealed onto the uh, massive full sensor. And I'm hoping this drive there, um, I wouldn't get a check engine line. I'm thinking, you know, just driving there will get the monitors completed. If I do get it, end up getting the check engine light, at least I know I can drive back and with the new gasket on there or used gasket on there. Um, and if I do drive back and there's no check engine light, we should be good to go. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping. But uh, if there is a check engine light, then, you know, we would have to factor in it's coming in from some other source, fuel injectors, OG sensors, um, what else? Vacuum leak, so yeah. But let me hop in the car real quick and uh, this should be about maybe a 50 minute drive there. So I'll bring you guys along with. here let's go look at some cars guys check out the clk i don't know if it's a 500 let's check real quick i think it's a three yeah 320 this thing is gutted out like it's destroyed this one has the nice uh trim on it that's nice found another clk this one is a 500 though oh yeah this one looks bad Look at the trunk. Oh my gosh. Like, what do you have to do to this to open it? Holy crap. Obviously, it's got the uh, <laughs> mufflers and... Yeah, this one is pretty bad. This one is bad. Look at the trunk. The interior is pretty much gutted out. This, the last time I was here, wasn't like this wasn't like this at all yeah this is pretty nasty this is gross guys check it out we have an e-class here let's check the interior real quick see if uh, the intake air box is in here no it isn't yeah this one doesn't have it someone someone took it <laughs> it's gone let's check the trunk Nah, nothing. This this E class is pretty much useless. Wow, 
Wow, this has been destroyed, guys. Check it out. I don't know if you guys do go to pull parts, but you can find really, really good stuff here for really cheap. In case you need something real bad. I think there's supposed to be a C-Class here. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Huh, it's got the donut boot. Come on, intake isn't here. It's got the massive flow sensor there. Let's check the interior real quick. See if someone didn't grab it yet. Oh, there's glass in this one. Oh man, yeah. Let's check the uh, the back. It's not in here. Trunk not in here oh uh, yeah this one is destroyed this is a 240 holy crap all right guys we're back and i did end up finding one uh this ended up costing like three dollars so i don't know how much you would get a new one for but this is in really really good condition uh, i was lucky enough to get this one uh i don't know how much this would be if you were to order it online you guys see what i'm talking about that looks really bad wow Anyways, this is the new one. I'm gonna put it in real quick. Guys, guess what? You won't believe just what happened. Well, let me just fill you in real quick because a lot has happened since, um, you know, we're uh, pull apart. Pretty much, I got the part for it. Um, it couldn't fit actually. For some reason it was smaller. I don't know how that's different. Um, that doesn't matter anymore. Um, eventually I'll get a new part for it. But, drove all the way back home, still no check engine light, so I decided, okay, let me go ahead and plug in my scanner and find out exactly if it still has like the pendant code or if like the monitors have been completed. And I plugged it in, and guess what? All eight monitors were completed without a check engine light. I'm assuming the computer just needed to, I guess, adjust to when it was used to getting the uh, check engine light for the fuel trip in Bank 1. So, I got super excited and drove to emissions, passed emissions, and I just got my tag sitting right there. Heck yeah. This car is back on the road. I'm super excited about that. Um, I mean, all that hard work putting in the uh, intake manifold and, you know, just looking and finding out what was actually wrong with the uh, intake manifold. I thought that was exactly what it was, the problem, but ended up, yes, that was the problem. In my mind, I thought, you know, that wasn't the problem. If you check back on last video um, and you saw the thumbnail, it basically said, <laughs> rest in peace. Um, but yeah, everything is good to go now. So um, I'm almost home. I'm about to put this tag on the car and we should be, uh, road legal the car is finally all you know squared off and man it she runs really great i think i'm probably gonna get a quick car wash in maybe take some pictures and yeah we'll see where this vlog goes guys Swear I won't forget this, why do I regret this? In my mind reckless, thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless, anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless, betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open, I hate being broken I feel like an ocean filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion, rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking, reopen, the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Guys, and just like that, the car is all washed up and looking pretty good Just take a look at it Oh man, that looks so good Look at that oh, These stock wheels though, there's something about them They just, they look really, really good But they would have to go Because, you know Definitely aftermarket wheels definitely changes the look of the car. And it's just gonna make this car look a lot, lot better. So yeah, guys, I mean, this, this pretty much sums up the vlog. Uh, there's not much to say, but to 
really actually thank you guys for uh, you know some of you that reached out to me to uh, try and you know help me out with trying to figure out what the main problem is with the uh, check engine light uh, but I'm glad I was able to get that done uh, if you haven't seen previous video again go check it out I explain exactly what was wrong with the uh, intake manifold um, I don't see a lot of videos that actually tell you um, the inner components that go bad uh, just the outer components that I've seen on you know a bunch of forums or YouTube but uh, oh check out uh, I believe his channel is Danny plays with cars he had a c230 and he did some modifications to it he's got some great videos on like doing power, power mods to this he helped me with uh, trying to also figure out you know what the main problem is with you know the, with the car but um, yeah definitely check him out and hey thanks again so I hope you guys enjoy this video I I'm pretty excited uh, that the car is on the road and we should be getting some few modifications done to this car so stay tuned for that all right guys thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video